Something will change in your life. Amen. And you will see a miracle. Hallelujah. And there will be a turnaround in your family. Oh, yes. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. We have come with a message from the Lord. Uh, our bishop will uh, speak to us very much concerning the families. And I want you to open up your eyes, your ears, your heart. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. And be ready to, I uh, mean, to sober and uh, receive and the Lord will bless you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. I will also speak, but because of our time, I will really give him this wonderful time to speak to us. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. I know uh, you are ready. Uh, the chairman was telling us that the number has, already, has not yet been enough. Wait a bit, wait a bit, because our home is just next to here. It takes us about five to six minutes to reach here. Praise Amen. the name of the Lord. Amen. So we thank God you have come. Amen. So. 
the Lord loves you. I want you to be ready to welcome the servant of God. Are you ready? Yes. Father, we thank you and we honor you. Yes, Lord. We give you all the glory. Yes, Lord. We bow before you, O Lord. Oh, yes. Jesus. We give you all the honor. Yes, Lord. We pray, Father, our God. Hallelujah. Let your mercy abound. Yes, Lord. And let your grace take over. Oh, Jesus. That Holy Spirit. Yes, Father. None shall be hindered. Oh, Jesus. From receiving. Yes, Lord. That which you are prepared. Hallelujah. Unto your children, O oh God. Yes, Lord. My Father. I'm nothing, yes, but I look unto thee. Oh, Jesus. Make of your will yes, to come in the life of your children Hallelujah. at this particular time. Yes, Lord. Use me also, Lord, oh, Jesus. as a pen of the writer. Yes, Lord. That do it in the people's tablets. Yes, Lord. Their hearts, the hearts of their tablets. Hallelujah. Be filled with your word. Yes, Lord. That, oh dear Jehovah, oh, Jesus. as you have spoken, it shall be. Yes, Lord. It will terminate and prosper. Hallelujah. A hundredfold. Yes, Lord. Sixty and thirtyfold. Yes, Lord. At Jehovah we touch it, oh, that all will come out yes, with a hundredfold Hallelujah. that will bring change yes, and in great diversity Hallelujah. prosper. Prosper. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you so much. We shall pro uh, enter into a project faster and quickly. What I will require is, is the Bible. If you have the Bible, get it ready. Another one I will require is a notebook where we can put our notebook. Can I hear him? We are going to touch on today. My mandate to come to share will be on factors of the family matters. And the family matters are diverse matters. I will deal particularly with marriage. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. <coughs> The first thing I'll deal with, you can put it down, what is marriage? We shall deal in marriage, we shall deal with the subject of love. Number three, subject of submission. Number four, subject of wisdom. Number three, number five, we shall deal with the subject of endurance. Number six, we shall also deal with the subject of hindrances, challenges in marriage. Chapter number seven, we shall deal with benefits. Number eight, then we shall see 20 ways to strengthen your marriage. Hallelujah. <coughs> when we have seen the 20 ways to strengthen our marriage, brethren, then we shall come to what we call safety valves in marriage. Safety valves. Safety valves in marriage. Then we shall conclude. May God bless you. Hallelujah. Number one. Oh, I repeat. Huh? How many feel I've run so fast? I come again? Yeah, man. You're ready? Okay. Our, our topic will dwell on the subject of marriage. So marriage is the topic. In marriage we shall have some topics whereby we shall have love, submission, wisdom, endurance, endurance, my language sometimes gets uh, endurance, <laughs> I know, I know, <laughs> then hindrances, hindrances, <laughs> hindrances, oh, 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 benefits, you are better than me, I told you. <laughs> I told you. Uh, you got it better. Good. Then we have 20 ways to strengthen your marriage. That's the long one. I will wait until you write it all. 20 ways to strengthen your marriage. Until I hear amen, I will wait. Amen. Well, God bless you. Finally, we shall come to safety valves. Safety is normal safety. Uh, 
valve is V A L. Yeah, V A L V E S. Valves. 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 Safety valve. Thank you, Mama Roda. What a good student. Yeah. The rest of Mama Roda can pronounce it for you. Safety valves in marriage. And finally, we shall come to a conclusion. Hallelujah. Then I will submit a humble suggestion. If you have not caught up, your neighbor will help you now. You may not have opportunity to repeat again. Hallelujah. Now, what is marriage? And I am not need to stop because I'm, lect I'm lecturing. Praise the name of the Lord. Because I want to see your eyes also. What is marriage? What would somebody say marriage is? So you are understanding, right opposite me. What is marriage, my brother? What is marriage? Marriage is a union between two people brought together, man and woman. A marriage is a union between two people brought together, a man and a woman. You have exactly said it, but brought together by who? That's the way. Give me my hand. What is this understanding of marriage? How about from this other corner? Yes? yes. What is marriage? You have a Google, you have a good, beautiful speck on your head. Professor, what is marriage? <laughs> <laughs> I will ask from this side and this side. What is marriage? One of you don't hear according to your opinion. This side. Yes, brother. You seem to be ready to say something. I have the same understanding. The same understanding. Yes, the same understanding, but you can call it. You can do what? The same clothes, but you can call it, isn't it? Pastor Maya. Praise the Lord. Amen. Since you have asked for color. <laughs> <laughs> I want to color what they have already said. Yes. And to say that it is uh, getting to have a sleepover with your best friend that is between man and woman every single night of the week. That is wonderful. You've got a happy person. You've got a you know, that is another idea. Can I hear me? Some people knew union, but did not know the secret of every every night, every night of each single week. week. Not a day. Week. Not a day, but a week. You say? I'm learning now. <laughs> That's my that is the best way to get to every stage. <laughs> Give God a hand to my name. <laughs> Repeat it, my daughter. Yeah, I praise the Lord. <laughs> uh, I did not take it biblically, but uh, I support what has already been said. Yeah. Biblically. Yes. Uh, that is having time of sleep over with your best friend. Having time of sleep over with your, your best, best friend. friend. What do you mean the word sleep over? That means uniting and living together. Yeah, uniting and living together. Living together. together. Every? Every night. I've every. said every night because I know during the day we are busy. Oh, but good. this reminds us of coming back to our, to our one place. Together. Uh, together. Right. Yeah. So what God has joined together? Nobody should put us together. Very good. No Give me a hand. Give me a hand. In the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. That is how it should be. Going to safari is exceptional. Going to study is exceptional. But the truth is, every single night, tell your neighbor, remember now. 
No, tell your husband or your wife. <laughs> tell, tell, tell him, uh, tell him, tell him, remember now, dear. It is every single night. Thank you. God bless you. We are learning already, isn't it? Yeah, because that is why it's not to have an opinion of knowledge. There are many schools of thought which are being pressed, but they can help us to get ahead. Amen. And I like this area. Is somebody here with another idea? I seem to be attracted in this area. I'll give you two opportunities. <laughs> yes, sir. Mrs. Odera. Mrs. Odera. You know teachers, they are good sometimes. Mrs. Odera. Yes. Yes. I, I just concur with what, that, what they have said. And maybe just to add to the color. The color. Yeah. Uh, it is a union that must be consumed between two people brought together by God. Wonderful. Give God a hand. We are passing down there. Let us hear from this corner also. Right here. That doesn't know you seem to be there. Yes. I agree with uh, what all others have said. I just need to add that marriage is coming together of a woman and a man by the will of God so that they can complement each other in life as one unit. Wonderful. A good expression. Wonderful. The technology of the expression differs, but it is one thing. Do I give another person a chance? Chairman, it's good you are here. So I'm going to be uh, uh, not caring about gender. Uh, now here I give all the ladies. Chairman. <laughs> I am not different from what you have said. Mm. Um, I will say that it is a coordinated um, <coughs> argument between a man and a woman to be together with the children of God. Wonderful. That's from the chairman. Yes. You got a hand from the chairman. Now, conclusively, I would say all of us are right, and the idea expresses one, so let us give a thumb to everyone. You know a thumb? <laughs> Parliamentary. Go. Very good. Very good. Thank you. Hallelujah. Marriage, write it down now. The institution which we are talking about called marriage is the first institution in the world and is also the oldest. The institution of marriage which we are talking about, our understanding should come to know that this is the first institution of God in the world. And it is the only first institution in the world. There had never been another institution. When I talk of institution, I'm talking of administration, government, personnel management, and all that you have taking place in a place. Somewhere where there is organized uh, uh, power and people lead not just by chance, but it's a plan. Can I hear, man? Yeah. So, the first one, we have got so many institutions now, isn't it? Mm -hmm. And companies and what. But the first institution made of, by God was marriage. That is why marriage becomes the most powerful institution in the world. And without marriage, there is no world, per se. Can I hear, man? It's only marriage that makes the world. God so loved the world. Did he love the trees and the rivers? No. He loved the marriage. Can I hear, man? He loved the families of mankind. 
child that he gave his son, hallelujah, and we are born again. See how powerful it is. It is an institution which brings the Son of God to die on the cross. It's the institution which made God to become uh, a, 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 to become into a human body and live in the human body so that he may talk to human personally through the human body. That's another study we call incarnation. God coming to the body. That is why it's called Emmanuel. Can I hear a man? It's not Jesus another person and now God is another person. No, Jesus is Emmanuel. That means God has come to be with men and he to dwell in us. That's why he tells Philip when he said, so has the Father enough for us. What was the answer? Uh, Philip, I've been with you all this time, but you don't know me. Are you not aware he who has seen the Father, who has seen me, has seen who? The Father. The Father. Uh, so don't ask again, who is that other Father? Jesus is God. Amen. Can I hear him? Amen. He came to return his home to him. So uh, the Almighty God, continue writing now. The Almighty God introduced marriage The Almighty God introduced marriage So marriage is a blessed venture And not a cultural thing Marriage is a blessed venture And not a cultural thing We are together. Yes, Hallelujah. So marriage, therefore, is our birthright. Marriage is our birthright, and it is meant to be exciting. Not that. Marriage is our birthright, and marriage is meant to be exciting. and it's meant to be exciting. According to Hosea 4, 6, it is lack of knowledge that deprives many from enjoying their rights in God. According to Hosea, chapter number 4, verse number 6, it is lack of knowledge that deprives you <coughs> and def deprive us, many, from enjoying their rights, which is not in human, but their rights in God. Can I hear me? <coughs> I hope we don't go with human right. We go with the right of God as children of God. Human right allows, allows homosexuality and uh, uh, gay marriage, isn't it? Those are human rights. But we are the children of God's right. May you enjoy it. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Be sure your marriage is exciting. Be sure you are enjoying it accordingly. For this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Marriage, let's continue. Marriage is a covenant. Another paragraph. Marriage is a covenant. And it is meant to be special. Marriage is a covenant. And it is meant to be special. Who are the covenant? Who are the stakeholders of this covenant? It is a covenant between man, woman, and God not between a man and a woman alone it is between man woman and who oh, and god then that is a complete marriage if god is not involved then that marriage is illegal 
according to judicial law of the kingdom of heaven. Can I hear, man? It must be understood marriage is a covenant between man, woman, and who? And God. 